Alright, uh, well what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. So many hand motions. Stop. What's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. I can't not use my hands. What's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. You know, I got a bunch of stuff from Asmodus recently, so I figured I would take a few days this week and kind of make this Asmodus week, sponsored by Asmodus. And we are starting off here with the Flow pod system. This is the Asmodus made pod system. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit weirder. It's got a few little quirks to it, I guess. First things first, it's got a 500 ma or milliamp hour battery on the inside, which is leaps and bounds above a lot of other pod systems. You're going to get a lot longer battery life from this. They also come with a refillable two mil capacity pod that goes inside of it. The pods that come with the Asmodus flow kit are refillable. They actually come empty. You fill it up with your own juice and it is a two mil capacity. So the only, my only real big gripe with this is the way that you fill up the pods. It's just, I don't know, it's just real weird and it doesn't work very well. When you pull out your pod, you're gonna see a little white, little rubber stopper on the bottom. That little white, little rubber stomper, stomper? Stopper. That white little, and it's gone. This tiny white little rubber stopper is what goes in the bottom of your pod. You pull this out from the corner when you wanna fill it and you pop it back in when it's full. Seems super simple enough. The only bummer thing about this is the juice fill hole in the bottom of your tank is real small and it needs one hole for the juice to go in and the air to come out. This is something that I personally talk about in a lot of videos because it's something that's easily fixable in the design, yet nobody does it. If you have a container that you are trying to put liquid inside and you put your bottle in there and you squeeze it, the juice goes into your container, but the air needs to go somewhere. And if that somewhere is out the same hole that you're filling, tends to make things a little bit more complicated. Every freaking single time I fill up the flow pods, I will, without a doubt, 100% clog that juice fill hole. Because of the way that the hole is positioned and because of the way that the wicks pop out of the center chimney, it just clogs it. It just clogs it and clogs it and clogs it every single time. With the exception of the very first time I filled this up, I was able to just take a brand new pod, go bleh, just fill it right up, put the rubber stopper in and I was like, Holy shit, that was the easiest fill of any pod ever. But as soon as you get liquid in there, and as soon as that wick gets absorbed with liquid and actually grows a little bit inside, it chokes it off even further. The only way that I have found to fill this slightly annoying fill system on this pod is to hold my juice bottle up above it and literally let drops fall in there. You just aim one drop at a time. Blip. Blip. And that eventually will fill up this pod. Otherwise, you're going to be playing this game of like, fill it up, it's going to flood, you tap it to get the bubble out, the bubble gets out and pops, you put your bottle back in, you fill it up a little bit more, it's going to flood, you tap it to get the bubbles going, the bubble's going to pop, and then you repeat this quite annoying process. I, I, I really wish, with all of my wishes, that they had had a, a different fill system in this. Or at least do like they did on that Valadin RE pod system where you pulled off the rubber stopper and there were two holes, one for your juice to go in and one for your air to go out. That was the easiest pod system to fill ever. And unfortunately, this flow pod doesn't quite stack up. It's kind of annoying to fill. Okay, sorry. Hey, let me jump back in here real quick while we're talking about the filling system. The bottle that I was using is a, I believe, a Generation 1 Chubby Gorilla bottle. The the newer Chubby Gorilla bottles with, with this, like, spoke on top, like, you know, we've seen these bottles. These are the newer Chubby Gorilla bottles. You can put these way down in there and fill up the tank a, a lot easier. The problem is most of my liquids don't come in these bottles. A, a lot of them don't. The majority of them don't come in these bottles. So yeah, you could transfer it to another bottle. You can just use a, a different bottle. But if your bottle has this tip, it's going to be much easier to fill than if it has the all the, literally every other tip that's in vaping 
that won't, won't work. Okay, back to the back to the video. But once you get it all filled, the vape from this is honestly pretty fantastic. I really, really like the draw on this pod. It's nice and stiff, it's nice and flavorful, and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get this battery to activate. Sometimes one thing that happens in pod systems is the auto switch on the inside over time will degrade a little bit. It takes more and more air pressure to kind of get it to activate. It doesn't happen so much with a lot of like the newer modern pod systems that are out, but back in the day, like the My Von Earl was the biggest offender in my opinion. It had an insanely stiff switch that I had to literally lung inhale like it was a sub ohm tank in order to get that battery to activate. Such is not the case thankfully with the flow pod. Another thing that the flow pod does on the inside of the pod is it doesn't use any sort of ceramic heating elements. Lots of other pod systems use these ceramic heating elements but the flow pods actually use canthal wire coils in there which canthal is a material that we've been using inside of vaping since the very beginning of vaping. Back when I started vaping in 2009, the atomizers coming out of China were wrapped with canthal wire coils. So it's a very like popular sort of tried and true wire. The flavor I get from these pods, is rad. It's great. It's not amazing. It's not going to just blow you away with flavorness, but you definitely 100% are going to be able to taste your juice. I like the flavor. I like the performance I get from this. I like the airflow. I like the draw. I like the little bit of crackle that the Canthal coils give you. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. Right now, this is filled up with 12 milligram Liquid Barn Water Malone. I much prefer using lower strength freebase juices in pod systems that I have the ability to refill, but you can absolutely use salt nick in this, no problems. I feel like I do say this a lot, but any tank that uses liquid, you can use salt nick in it. It might not be the most enjoyable vape, but you're gonna see a lot of gimmicky stuff out there like this is specifically, you know, designed for salt nicotine, or this is specifically designed for traditional freebase nicotine. That's kind of just a lot of marketing nonsense. If it can vape liquid, you can put liquid in it, whether that's salt nick or freebase. So you can kind of see right there next to the Kilo 1K, it's about the same height, but it is substantially wider. It is a, this one over here, it's just a much, uh, fatter, I guess, feeling pod system. Thankfully, it does use, ooh, pardon me. Thankfully, it does use a micro USB on the charging, which is fantastic, which means there's no like special proprietary charges you need for this. It's just a micro USB on the bottom. And all these sort of weird little quirks aside, like the way that you have to fill it and it's, there's weird things. There's just weird things about it. It does vape real good. Very, very nice. I am kind of willing to put up with that slightly obnoxious filling system in order to have a vape that's that's this nice, honestly. I love using pod systems, but I don't like salt nicotine juices. I love that I can use this pod system with my own 12 milligram juice. So let's get down to brass tacks here. Are you going to need your vape budget hands if you're interested in the Esmodus Flow pod system? Nah. I don't know, maybe not, not really. It's about 30 bucks for the starter kit. The starter kit comes with one flow battery and two empty two mil flow pods. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the flow pod system something I would seek out and buy right away? I mean, probably not, but that's not anything against the flow. Don't get me wrong, I like higher nicotine and I love love me some mouth to lung vaping. But with that said, I have a lot of other mouth to lung stuff that I really, truly, truly enjoy a little bit more than this flow. But that certainly doesn't mean that the flow pod system is a bad vape in any capacity. If you want a pod system that's not quite a pod, it comes with a bigger battery, it comes with a refillable two mil tank, boom, roasted, as modus flow. Ultimately, the decision is gonna be yours to make, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.